this is Todd McPartland with iMarketing Leader and author of Automation Domination, a business owner's guide to dominating your market online. In today's presentation, I'm going to discuss the future of online marketing. Recently, Google has announced three major changes, Penguin 2.1, Encrypted Search, and Hummingbird. So we're going to talk about each one of these individually. I'm going to start with the encrypted search. So you may have noticed if you've used Google that even if you type in just www.google.com it actually goes to HTTPS google.com and what that entails and, and it has Google doing is it actually encrypts the search over the in, over the internet and there's you know, a lot of conspiracy theorists why is Google doing this a couple things on the slide here are they trying to protect privacy or trying to drive people to PPC and the reason behind that is when it's encrypted you we no longer get the analytics to each of the websites so on you know before you used to be able to go into your Google Analytics and you can see the exact keywords that people were finding your website for however if you've been following internet marketing at all for a while or been reviewing your own analytics you'll you've been noticing a lot more data has been put into the not provided category and that was due to privacy settings and encryption uh, whether someone was logged into Gmail or they were using the Chrome browser Google was hiding that information from the analytics now with the encrypted search they're going to move towards hiding all of that and the projected is the keyword tracking will be gone by December 1st of 2013. So what does that mean for online marketers? What does that mean for business owners trying to determine which pages are working the best, which keywords are, are, are um, working? And that's what you know, I intend to talk about here is what, what, what should you do? So the first thing you need to do is you need to install Google Webmaster Tools and Bing Webmaster Tools. So although Google is hiding that keyword information or not displaying that keyword information inside of Google Analytics, inside of Google Webmaster Tools you can actually still get to the information and that's where that not provided is actually further broken down. They've added in some great new enhancements to Webmaster Tools. So if you're not familiar with it, you need to get familiar with it. If you're one of our clients, it's already installed. Or you can use a third-party analytic tool. Uh, PWIC comes to mind, which we have installed on our client site, which gathers other information. So Google still passes that information in in the header. So I think third-party tools are going to start gravitating, and they're going to become a little bit more important now until Google makes another change. And the other thing is to create what is called and referred to as content silos. So if you look on the screen here, You've got a picture of a content silo, so you have desired landing pages and you have a bunch of other pages driving to that landing page. So although Google won't tell you the exact keyword, they will tell you what the entrance page was. So the, the entrance page will show you if you're targeting, which we do and you know we advise our clients to do is basically around one keyword or one topic per page. So if you see a lot of traffic coming to a particular page, it is really because of that topic or that keyword. You're going to start noticing that a lot of marketers, including myself, are going to stop using the word keywords because it's really all about intent and that has to do with Hummingbird, which we'll get to in a moment. So let's talk about Hummingbird. So Hummingbird was launched in late August 2013. However, Google didn't announce it for almost a month later. So this is an entirely new algorithm with over 200 plus raking factors and they essentially went into stealth mode, released it into the wild and didn't even announce that they were doing it. Their main focus is on, is on answering longer and more complex queries so they want to be able to get a lot more understanding of the intent of the search rather than just picking off what are the exact words that they, they went for that someone typed in and let's go find some pages with those words and this you know is really in line with a lot of the, the, the text to speak there's also you know you can you can search by speaking on a lot of the Android phones you can do it inside the, the Chrome browser now so they want to be able to get into a more natural search which is going to really drive 
you know, keyword research in the future is because now it's not really based on the keyword, it's more the intent of the, the user. So let's look at a couple of things. So really, they launched a while back a knowledge graph where they try to answer questions without actually leaving google.com. You know, and I'll get to show you some examples here in a moment of that. So they really want to understand the intent of the query or search and the content of all the pages in their entire index. So when someone says, for example, I want to check the flights from College Station to DFW, Google knows a lot of information on all these different sites. Who has all this information about College Station to the DFW flights? You can see in this screen you have a couple paid searches, but right immediately underneath that, google.com forward slash flights has a departure and a return flight right here for within google.com. You don't even have to leave. And it shows American United, shows you pricing, and a link to go to get to more. So and, you know, they put the little sponsored ad. Well, it's sponsored by Google, so obviously it's going to be number one. However, that now affects a lot of sites, like the one right underneath it, Expedia.com. is no longer, maybe it was number one before. So why would Google do this? Right here, paid advertising. The longer they can leave you on the site, more chance you click on the paid advertising, more people are going to want to pay. Google is a you know for-profit business. So they're going to you know that's where they make like 80 or 90 percent of their money is from advertising. So just notice that this is starting to become a lot more important. Uh, so Google is going to start finding answers to questions on their entire database, and they're going to start presenting those inside of Google. Another example, football scores. Type in NFL scores. You don't need to go to NFL.com. You can see all the different weeks right there from within Google. It shows you the up and coming games and you know shows you you know scores. You can click on the different weeks and it's above NFL.com. Now they're getting their data from NFL.com and other news sources. However, NFL.com is not getting a visitor to their site, which they also have advertising and upsells on, on their products. So what, do you, what should you try to do to get into this new hummingbird algorithm? You want to answer questions that your clients or customers might have. Answer those on your website. Put an FAQ, do a blog posting on, on the, the top 10 um, ideas or thoughts that your clients or customers might have. You can use words in the, the title or in the page like how to something or how do I, you know, whatever that w word might be. And we don't really want to focus on keywords, but we want to focus on providing great value. Google is moving away from keywords and looking at the overall page and the overall site to figure out what value is the site providing. And the third bullet point here is content, content, content. Google is very smart now about going after content on your site. It's no longer good enough to have one little article about a particular keyword or a particular topic. You need to have as many articles interlinked properly and you want to be getting backlinks still from other relevant content about that topic. So that is, you know, a big takeaway from this presentation is a ton more content but provide value don't focus on keywords more focus on the topics now let's move on to penguin 2.1 so penguin's been out for a while they recently just announced on October 4th 2013 penguin 2.1 and it is still attack on you know link schemes keyword stuffing over optimization unnatural links you know Google is Again, trying to do everything about relevance. They don't want spammers out there driving their visitors to Google.com off to sites that are going to make them unhappy because then they'll go to an alternative search. So here are a couple of the highlights. So they continue to target over-optimization, but even more aggressively. Every, every iteration of Penguin seems to be a little bit more aggressive on the over-optimization. So you may have noticed your site drop and you know it might not be your site that actually has the problem it could be sites that you did have a backlink from from whatever way a natural backlink or 
you you hired an SEO company to go out and get you backlinks from other relevant sites maybe those sites were the ones that were being over optimized for that particular topic or keyword and now that site has lost its ranking or lost its PR and now that has in turn lowered your site's PR so that backlink maybe just became um, not relevant anymore so those are you know, a couple of the highlights so what should you do so if, you're, if your loss in traffic is somewhere between 10 and 20 percent you don't don't even really need to panic when Google rolls out changes they have to sometimes go through a couple of iterations because you know people can get affected even when they didn't do anything wrong or like mentioned on a previous slide when there is um, some backlinks it wasn't your site that necessarily was the problem but it was a backlink so if you hired an SEO company or you're doing backlink on your own just continue to keep you know going out there finding new sources to get backlinks from now if you have a 50 percent or plus you're kinda in the Google penalty zone might be needing a little bit of panic here you need to really figure out you know what was the problem have you been doing things that were gray hat or black hat you need to stop doing those Google is has a lot of people and they're a lot smarter than one person or even one SEO company so you don't want to try to keep tricking Google because you're going to keep landing in these penalty zones and if you get into that 90 or 100 percent drop in traffic your your sites now been basically banned from Google and you're going to just need to start over and you don't want that if this is your business website so tip do all white hat study Google find a reputable uh, SEO company like ours imarketingleader.com where we focus on really what Google wants not the quickest way you know because the quickest way is usually through some black hat tactics but that's also the quickest way to get banned every time a new update rolls out so if you're in one of these two zones even in the 10 and 20 percent or the 50 percent you really want to focus on content diversity so Google is getting very good at videos images you know press releases social signals you know it's more than just an article on your site you need to start integrating some of these other pieces you know video obviously put them on YouTube that's owned by Google and then you can embed them on your your blog images you know you want nice high quality images the more unique the image that means if it has never been indexed by Google before the more likely it's to get picked up so whenever possible use your own images so if you're a florist take pictures of your own flowers if you're a pest control company shoot some video of you doing some pest control rather than using some stock photography that's been all over the web Google loves unique content and then you know goes down to images and videos infographics are a huge image quality you can get infographics created relatively cheap as long as they're unique that's the first time when Google runs across it they're gonna know that it's the first time that image has been out there and you're gonna get you know some good quality from that and get some high ranking and then social uh, as you know the past year or two years you know Facebook Twitter LinkedIn Google Plus you, you wanna get those social signals so every time you post content whether it's a video image you want to make sure that you're getting social signals pointing back to your site and the social signal is just something referencing your site it could be out on Facebook every time you post you go out to your Facebook page or your private Facebook page your personal one and you post hey go check out my you know new blog and then some people head over there Google sees that traffic is coming from Facebook or coming from Twitter or coming from LinkedIn and then you get that social signal press releases are huge with this post um, penguin and post hummingbird update they've even received more link juice than they had before so we want to start writing a lot more press releases high quality press releases and you might even have to go into the paid press release sites since there's a lot less competition for those they're usually of higher quality because Google knows they're higher quality because people have to pay for them spammers can't go out there or uh, link jackers can't go out there and just post any content on a free press release or on a paid press release that they can on a free one. So those are some of the things that we're we're moving towards, and that's what you know our services. You know we're kind of 
changing around our services a little bit where we're going to focus a lot more on complete packages. In the past we've been able to we go in as consultants, meet with a potential client, sit down and say, okay, hey, you can do pay-per-click or you can do SEO or you can, you know, here's a new website you need so it can be mobile responsive. You should do some press releases, you should do some content writing. And we used to kind of go in there as like a la carte services. We put them in a package, but we allow people to pick apart those packages if it didn't fit their budget. You know, seeing them what the the new futures moving towards, we're really just going to focus on complete packages. If if our clients, our potential clients, can't fit into those packages, then we're just going to have to you know go our separate ways. And we, because we really need to provide value, and that's what we want to do at I Marketing Leaders. We want to provide exceptional value to our clients. In order to do that, we know we have to have a complete package. We have to have video. We have to have social. We have to have content. We have to have press releases. We have to have a mobile responsive website. We even have to have some paid search. You got to pay Google, even though they don't come out and say that. You know, if you're paying Google, you probably are going to get a little bit higher ranking, and not to mention drive traffic. Uh, we're going to have less focus on keywords. Again, after December 1st, there's really not going to be able to tell very well what keywords are, you know, driving traffic. Now you can still get those keywords in paid search, which is, you know, another reason why you should go with paid search. But it's going to be less focused on keywords and more focused on content and focus on a topic. So we might use keyword research and still figure out what are people searching for. An example, you know, a civil attorney. Uh, they focus on the word divorce, so they're focusing on the word separation. And then we'd write some content around that, but not necessarily try to optimize for a particular word. We want to optimize for that topic. And Google is, with Hummingbird, they're going after answering questions. So in the divorce attorney, example you might want to write up article on you know the steps of the divorce you know you know someone might say what are the steps for a divorce and that might be a, their, their search well if you have a topic in a an article that says the steps you know how to go through a divorce or the steps to go through a divorce google's going to see that and you could possibly rank pretty high for that obviously we're going to be focusing a lot on video press releases and content all of our packages will include all three of those for now and more diverse content. So that goes back to the infographics, putting in videos, dropping in unique images that have never been indexed before, and really focusing on the overall picture of the website, not just a particular topic, not just a particular page, but focusing on building that whole entire structure so when Google looks at your site they see it as a complete picture. You can start ranking for a lot of other terms and words. Uh, you may have noticed that a lot of home page rankings have been have been dropped because Google again wants to get that user down into the article that they want to get to. So if you were ranking really well, you were probably ranking well, and it was just going to you know whatever.com. But now it, it, Google wants to point down to a specific page and get that user right where they want to go to. So for more information on this, you can give us a call at nine seven nine. 314-7213 or you can visit us at imarketingleader.com again my name is Todd McPartland I am the co-owner of imarketingleader.com and the author of Automation Domination A Business Owner's Guide to Dominating Your Market Online you can pick up a copy of my book at automationdominationbook.com you can head right over there thank you and I will talk to you soon